Welcome back to another episode of the Excel Tristone Podcast. Now, on today's episode, I have the, I'm trying to think of all those great words people use in interviews, the uh, elusive, the, um, the, the big, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the most good. known model, but never heard model before. Yeah. <laughs> um, is it Maxima? I wanted to call you Mr. Evan, but I don't want to mess up your first name. No, it's all good. It's, it's Maxime. Maxime. Oh, Maxime. Yeah. Okay, I yeah, got it. Yeah, I, I just it. go by Max though, but yeah, Maxime. Yeah. So I want you, uh, well, first I want to talk about how we got connected. So I've been following you for a while. I try to follow every time I go to a brand and I see there's a big and tall model, I go on the internet and I try to find them. Because Absolutely. the first thing that I'm always intrigued at is I know that there's not that many big and tall models to begin with. Yeah. So I'm intrigued at how you got here. So my first thing, I always try to follow you all yes, um, just so I can continue to amplify the work that you all do. Because I know even sometimes when you all work with brands, because you're big and tall or plus size, you all don't generally get to be on the front street all the time, which I don't like, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I if you're going to use us, use our likeness, I want to be on front street just like the size 32 guy. Okay. So I noticed that that's a thing sometimes. So mm. that's why I follow you all so I can amplify your work within the community. Um, so I saw you, I believe the first time I saw you was on an ASOS ad. I got one that was about been three years ago. Mm-hmm. And I'm always intrigued at models because like I, I was telling you earlier on the pre-show, like we see you, but we never hear you. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And so this is, this is the opportunity. Like tell the people where you from, uh, tell them like, tell them a little bit about you. Absolutely. Um, well, First of all, my name is Maxime Evans. I do go by Max though. Um, at one point it was Big Max, was, you know, that was the thing, Big Max. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did, I did just recently change my, my, my handle to Maxime. I feel like you changed your, and I know it was Big underscore Max, right? Yeah, 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 okay. it was. I just, I just recently made that change. I just okay. recently did that. What prompted that? Um, I think, I think I was just trying to make it easier for, for people to look me up. Um, you know, just just put the put the name. <laughs> that makes that makes yeah. perfect sense. You want more yeah. visibility. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, um, but yeah, I'm actually like a little bit about my background. I'm a military brat. Um, you know, my dad was in the army for 20 years, and and he actually went. He got deployed down to Haiti, and he met my mom there, and they had me. So. I'm half patient, um, and I was also born there. I used to be fluent when I was younger, but uh, I kind of lost. I still understand it though. Um, but but yeah yeah yeah, it, it's yeah like probably I probably put like listen, Mr. Evans, you have to palette Creole. It's oh yeah yeah when when palette when palette PT Creole. It's not just that a good. little bit. I know I can hear it just a little bit. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, you. I, I know a little, little bit, a little bit of Creole, just in. Okay, okay. Where, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm buddy? Jamaican, but I oh, have okay. my best friend's Haitian, so I, uh-huh. I've, oh, so I've, know, I've learned you know, a lot you know, along the way. Uh huh. Yes. You know all about it, then. Good yes. food, man. Good food. That's why I got so big, man. I was eating rice, chicken all oh, my life. God, oh, God. deep fried show. We. Yes, you, you, you know. know. You of course know. I know. You I know about all the things. Um, and I, so that that intrigues me too, because I feel like there's a lot, there's a lot of models out here. Um, and you all, like you said, you don't, you don't hear I like I said, you don't hear them, but you also don't know their cultural background. Like Absolutely. I'm pretty sure growing up, you know, in, in a uh, Haitian household changes how you move in the world. So like yeah. talk about what was life like growing up like were you always uh, a bigger guy or did you become a bigger guy in your adulthood like what was growing up like well, I think growing up for me um 
I was always the big guy, um, always bigger than everybody. You know, it, it was just early on, like just from from early memories, like I was always just known as the as the big guy, and it, I mean it was always cool, um, you know, and just. But but my parents, my mom is my mom is five eight. My dad is five eight. I'm six four, six five. So Whoa. even with me, yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody, Whoa. everyone, everyone always like wonders how I got so big. Because like even though I have like from the beginning, I was always just known as a big dude. It's still like, whoa, why is he so big? How did he get so big? People see my pops, like say he only five eight. You know, my mom five eight, and I, yeah, I just got I got lucky with the height. Um, my little brother, he like six, he like six feet five eleven. But yeah, I've just always been that anomaly. You know, uh, but I, I love it, though. I love it. I love it. It's, it's, it's great. Um, but yeah, just growing up, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm a, I was, I, I'm, I was, I am a pretty sensitive guy. Um, I'm just a huge teddy bear, to be honest with you. And, and like the sensitivity, like, just, it was something I, I always struggled with, you know, as I grew, you know, growing up, because I am this big guy, you know, so. Everybody immediately, you know, always just wanted me to be hard, you know, and all that. God, oh, I definitely you know. understand. You're trying to you're trying to balance the person you are inside with yeah. what with what society thinks how you're supposed to act because yeah. how you look on the outside. Yeah. And as a exactly. child, that's that's it's com- it was conflicting to you. Yeah. I, I definitely understand that. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so. And, as you're moving through the world, you uh, you get let's say let's 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 start at high school. You said you played sports. What sports did you play in high school? So I played basketball, football, and then I did track. Jesus, you did all the sports. Yeah, yeah, I did it all, man. I wanted to do more, but just the way the seasons worked out, you know, you can't um, playing basketball, football, and track. First mm-hmm. of all, how did you have a social life? Because I did track and I had no social life. So you did two extra sports. So you have like zero, zero social life. How do you manage? Yeah, I I mean, I didn't really manage because, and what I mean by that, like my social life, it was athletes. Like we were always, you know, it just, it became a lifestyle. So, you know, actually practicing, playing games, you know, like I was always with those guys. Then when outside of that, I was always with those guys. So, you know, it just, it was a brotherhood, you know, um, even basketball, football, track, um, you know, so, and then in high school, I did, you know, obviously, you know, I, I did have a girlfriend in high school, so um, my social life really wasn't there, but like I said, it was because, you know, my, my my teammates just became my yeah, brothers. You know, the my social life with the people that yeah. you all these different sports teams. That, that makes perfect sense. So, yeah, sure. So, if I'm not mistaken, it, I'm, I'm trying to remember. You're 24 or five. You're close. 23. I'll be 24 this year. I knew. I knew it was one of them. Yeah. So yeah. that means high school was not that long ago. No, it wasn't, man. It wasn't that so long. So, what did you do after high school? Like, what was the next thing? Because if you've been, I I want to say I've been seeing you modeling now. I'm gonna say a good four years. So mm-hmm. that takes you to 19, which means high school to modeling, that that was a short window. Like what what were you doing right up before you figured out, I think I, I think I I think I want to be a model. Like what were you doing before that? Well, I'll tell you like right right before like you know the modeling thing even became a thought in my head, I was actually at um I was in I was in college and I was at a school called Old Dominion University. ODU in uh, Norfolk, Virginia. I was playing. Um, I was playing football actually, and um, that was a whole experience for me too. But I oh, was you college I was ball. My, okay. Yeah, yeah. I played. I played college ball. Um, like I said, like it didn't go that well for me. But you know, I'm the type of guy that I will say it did go well because any you know I I faced a lot of adversity. I went through a lot, so it just it helped me become the man I am today. So I wouldn't I wouldn't change a thing about it. Um, but no, I was, I was home, I was home on break one day and, um, 
I'm sure you're familiar with uh, Olivier. Olivier. Yes, 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 yes. I know Olivier. Yeah. yeah. Now the fellow Haitian, you know, he he's full Haitian. Oh, that that good guy. I haven't a lot of most people I haven't got to meet in person yet. But um, yeah, my mom, uh, she followed him on uh, social media and she she knew about him and she told me about him one day and she's like, hey, you know, you should look into this. Uh, the other. And I was like, bigger than tall modeling, you know, like. Oh, you, just, you had I, that look on your face like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, hold up. Like, this is, but I will say like, even before then, um, I had always known about ASOS. ASOS was my, my my go to because see so you always knew about ASOS. See, I that I promise you, I'm new. I'm very new to the ASOS train. Uh -huh. I, I I'm very new to. I know ASOS exists. It's I, I'm yeah. still new to the train. I go to the website. I'm still new to the ASOS train, so I didn't know about ASOS until yeah. uh, maybe two or three years ago. And I think I discovered it because I had saw. At one point, I felt like ASOS was the only website that had big and tall models on it. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 what I was thinking too, you know, and, and that's why ASOS was my go, go to because I wanted to expand my 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 wardrobe a little bit, and I only saw ASOS had those those sizes, you know, for yep. for, for us uh, type guys, and um, but like even when I knew about ASOS, it's still nothing ever popped in my head that I was like, man, I, I want to be like these guys, you know. Um, cause I mean, like, like I said, just being a model, man, that's not something I ever thought about science fiction for myself, especially start, like, it's lots of reasons, confidence, all of that, being a big guy, you know, I could, I could talk all day about that, but, um, but yeah, my mom, my mom told me about, told me about Olivier, um, Ali, and like, I saw he was on a plane every week. You know, like this was before the pandemic. He was on a plane. Oh, every week. I, oh, he's still on a plane every week. Okay, <laughs> right. Let's be clear. Like hey. Olivier is out of here. Hey, I'd be like, boy, does he work? Does he have a job still? But he go, yeah, yeah. He goes he's on a plane. He, yeah, he. I want to be like him. <laughs> I want to be like him, man. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, yo. This guy doing it right here, and then and then, you know, you see what he's doing, and then you look at him. You know, he looks, he's like me. You know, so like immediately, I see him. You know, and I'm like, I'm like, wow. You know, it just, it just, the thoughts in my head, my mom put into my head. Um, I said, it just it was something new, it was different. All I've known was sports and everything, so I was like. I was just like, oh yeah, I looked into it, you know, like it, it was, it was never a thing, but like I said, the, the thought, you know, she put it in my head and um, then I think, then I think I, I just, I didn't even do, like, I guess I did research on it, but um, I just, I, I did a little more research. I saw like the market was small. There wasn't a whole lot of guys in there. Um, I was just saying it was something that could. I mean, back when you um, started, it, there was probably like maybe four or five of y'all, honestly. Yeah. So when you yeah. say small, you mean like basically non existent. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And um, yeah, it was just, it was, yeah, it, that's when, yeah, my mom told me about it. And so I just, from there, I was like, I just kind of started going with it. Um, like I said, I was I was never like a picture guy. Like confidence was like to this day. Like my confidence, I'm I'm still trying to work on that and all that. Um, so like I said, just as an athlete, there's just so much we don't even think about, talk about because we're just living constantly living sports. Like, like I said, it was a lifestyle. So um, it was just so much for me to learn and all that, and uh, just just figure out how I wanted to get in the industry and, you know, see what I could do, I yeah. guess. I'm making oh, way yeah. through. So yeah, I'm guessing, right now. Hmm? so I'm guessing, so I, what I'm trying to see is like, so after you, after you, um, you, you find out about Olivier through your mom, like yeah. even you said confidence, something you're still working on. So what I want to know is like, what, like what idea sparked in your mind and was like, I don't even care that I 
you know, that I'm still working on my confidence. Like I could do this. Like what, what was the spark that was like, I can do this. And then who took that? I can do this. And like, helped you like run with it because there had to be like someone who saw you and was like you got the look yeah 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 oh well people people have always said I had a nice smile you know my dimples and all that um you know like I've just people have always given me you know that 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 confidence and you know the confidence and all that but uh just even then, sometimes, you know, you look in the mirror, there's still things you don't like. And you yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, I had a lot of, it was, I had a lot of help from, from women. You know, I'll just say that, you know. Okay. Now, yeah. They helped. Let, like... Let's just say that. You know, you know, women, you know, I, I had, I had significant other, you know, that, that was really like. Boosting you up. Yeah. But, but fine, you know, behind, <laughs> behind, um, you know, with me, you know, I'll say it personally, like, you know, if you see, if you, you know, see me doing anything, like, there's definitely somebody, a woman that's, that's really helping me out, you know, and, um, and that's what it was, like, Pushing I always, you. yeah, I had that, I had that person that was like, you can do this, you know, just, just giving me everything I needed and, um, helping me build that confidence, um, and, yeah, so I went from there, like, we started taking pictures and all that. Well, I did. I was looking at. I was researching agencies, and um, I, I was just literally applying to agencies. Um, okay, so I, you you went out applying to all the different agencies. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah, and Bridge Bridge was like I was obsessed. Like once I you know just figured it out a little bit, I really wanted to be with Bridge. Um, that's just like from just back then when I was thinking about that, and like you know they I think they. Took, I got I got notes from everybody, but you know one person. I think Brits turned me down like three different times. You know, look um, at that perseverance, <clears throat> never giving Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Yeah, like I said, I was just because I was still in school. I think I was in my last semester, and I just kept applying to agencies. And um, my mother agent now they got back to me, and and you know my 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 agent Josh, she's like, hey, you know. Um, I'm interested, and and I looked up milk. I was like, "What's milk?" You know, and I looked them up. And I was like, "Sheesh, big, big time, big time agency." So, like, but just everything for me is is still been like sitting right here now. I still can't believe I'm about it. Like, I'm still trying to grasp it. You know, really. After all this time, it ain't sunk in yet. Okay, uh, well, live on the high, cause you know, <clears throat> I really wanna. Like, this is why I started this platform. It's also to give people their flowers. Like, you all, you know, it may seem, like you said, you, you it feels to you like, like you still can't believe it. It's still settling in that you're a model. But I really want to give you your, give you all your flowers because what I want you all to know is, like, how important your work is. So... One of the things that I really want to focus on is like giving you all your flowers because I know that the work you do is impactful. Like I always think about if I had, if I was able when I, so I started being, I, I, for me personally, like my journey of becoming a big person like didn't start until much later in my, in my life. Like I wasn't a big kid. I was a very regular height, regular sized little boy growing up. When I became like 16, 17, that's when I started gaining some weight. And that was the first time I think I went to the mall with my friends when I was 17. And I was just like, but I can't fit anything. And I think about how impactful that would have been to see someone, you know, like you or someone like Olivier or someone like Zach uh, really be on the cover or the face of a, of a modeling campaign. So the work you all do is very, 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 
very impactful. So like, even when you on set and you feel like, man, will he hurry up? Like I'm ready to go. Like think about that little kid that's seeing you for the first time and seeing a direct representation of themselves. And now they have an aspiration. Because like you said, when you were young, being modeling wasn't something you could ever think about. Now imagining the kids growing up can see you and aspire to be you. So like, I think that's just so impactful. So like, the work you do is impactful, even if it doesn't <laughs> Thank you, like it, but it is. Thank you, that, that means a lot. You know, that's another thing too. Like sometimes I get, you know, like when I am on set and stuff like that, I get so caught up in the moment and I don't have the time to really, really, really think about what I'm doing and how impactful it could be. And, um, um, but I, I do, you know, that's, that's just a thing. Like, like I said, it's with the confidence thing, um, you know, I'm just still trying to work on even, um, you know, even now that I'm here, you know, there's people that are actually, because I get lots of DMs and stuff, and I do a terrible job of responding to my DMs, but I want to be better because I know I can really help people out. And, you know, just just because there's lots of people who really want to do this. Um, but, yeah, just not being able to just take in really what I'm doing and, like, the, the being impactful to other people, I want to be better, you know, about, like, what exactly what I'm doing because I'm I'm really I'm not just a model you know I, I am a, a plus size non model there's lots of people who want to do what I'm doing you know um and you know just them seeing me do that it's just yeah yeah it's, it's yeah yeah it's, it's sick. so let me ask you a question something something just came to mind on yeah how to maybe push the tide on how to help you like really like take in what it is you're doing. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> when you're in London, do ASOS have like billboards? Like I, I know um, that they don't have any like billboards. I think, I'm not sure actually. They may, um, but I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think I've seen any. I'm trying to figure out like have their, Cause I think a moment, a moment, like a, a moment that I feels like a moment for you to like relish in is like, if you go to a country you're modeling in and like whatever their version of Times Square is like, like going to look at your billboard and just like sitting there. Because I don't, I don't know if your work only ends up on, on digital or it, does it end up in print or does it end up you know, on billboards or whatever, but like, I think seeing yourself, like one of the things I talked about on one of my other podcasts um, mm -hmm. that I learned from one of the other models um, was uh, what he did was he actually went, his, his, his poster is hanging up in the uh, Untuck It store. Mm -hmm. And he said he went to the store, and just took a picture, bless you, took a picture, next to his like next he's a it's a life-size book yeah, yeah, yeah. like took a picture next to him just like like that's me like yeah, yeah. It, like me like and let that just like sink in or even one of the times i went to uh a store with um with uh, another model miles mm -hmm. um we went oh, to, i'm familiar with miles yeah we went to burger once to see his ad like just like Celebrating yourself for a moment. I think that's how you can let it sink in. Like, yeah. I don't know. Cause I like that new campaign that we talked about a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, like yeah, when yeah, that yeah. comes out, like wherever yeah. it comes out at, like if it's just on your phone, like sit and look at it on your phone and just like, Absolutely. like let it sink in. Like, it, mm -hmm. I mean, whatever they're going to do with those photos, it's going to be the first time we see men in that brand regardless. Yeah, absolutely. So, that's yeah, yeah. I think that's gonna be impactful mm -hmm. to be the first male in whatever they decide to do with that. So I think even that in itself, look at that. You get to write something on your resume. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, the yeah, first yeah. male model for blank brand. We won't say it until it comes out for blank brand. Yeah. So like 
Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I see where I see where see what you're saying. Um, and um, I shot back last year um, in May. I shot Fruit of the Loom, and um, and that was actually I'm still waiting any moment. That's the thing that's supposed to be coming out. I was hoping it would have came out by then. I'm waiting to be like it was for the packaging. And I'm still waiting Wait, for that. So you're gonna be okay. So I know a few models that done for the loop, but they were for digital. They were for social. Yeah. Are you going to be one of the people when you go in the store? Yeah, yeah. And it, you know, I even contacted. I've contacted the creative director to see if that was still a thing. But yeah, so they have they they do like big man packaging, and um and yeah, that was for like. The big man packaging, and you know, I I contacted him, contacted him about like a month or two ago, and um, you know, just to see if that was still a thing that was that was going to happen. He's like, "Yep, yeah, we're definitely moving forward with the uh, fruit of loom. You know, it's, it'll be in J.C. Penney, Walmart, you know, those stores." So, like you were saying, you know, just going in a store and just seeing yourself. Look, I've been waiting for it. <laughs> I've been, yo, so I'm just being patient, yo. you know. Okay, so I have so many questions. Yeah. Because yeah. Um, I would love to know, number one, I would love to know how many times has a Black model been on that packaging? That's first. Because I don't think I've ever seen one. Like, ever. I could have missed it. Probably could have missed it. I'm not the mm -hmm. biggest fruit of the room shopper, mm -hmm. but I yeah. could have missed it. But I don't remember ever seeing one. You and mean both? One thing I mean is Walmart and JCPenney. So I mean those stores multiple times per month looking mm -hmm. for new things to post about or write about, looking for mm -hmm. shit, new clothes for myself to wear. Yeah, yeah. So I'm there all the time, right? Yeah, so like... Yeah. I pass those aisles all the time and I see those guys and I'm like, none of them don't look like me though. Yeah, so yep, yep. So um, maybe I yeah, missed it. Maybe. So I think you should ask how many people, how many first of all, wait, wait, back up before we even before we even get to black. Has there ever been a plus size person on the front of those packages? Because I definitely know I ain't seen that. Research and they have done like big man packaging before, but never a brother. You know, so okay. Um, yeah, I think they did a couple, but it's not like something they're consistently doing. I got so. it. They they maybe done it once for like a certain ad, but never something they consistently shoot. You know, every time they're updating the packaging. Got it. Cool. All right, because I'm gonna do some research now that you said that. I'm gonna try to find some of those maybe old packaging because I really I that see that's a moment for you to sit in. And let that sink in, brother. Trust me, I've been, that's why I like, you know, I just try, I've just been patient, you know, cause um, you know, like I, 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 I've already just, you know, imagined how, how it goes seeing myself on the package and knowing like that that's something that could really happen. And, you, you know, for me, just know. the way my life has, you know, went like good things have happened, but you know, like sometimes it's like, you know, a maybe or almost, or, you know, I get right there. So um, for this, like, although this hasn't actually come out yet, you know, just it, from everything I know, it's something that's going to happen. So um, it's just, it's just, it's just so big for me. You know, I'm really waiting for it because I think it'll just really help me with a lot of stuff, seeing that, seeing myself on the package, um, and and yeah 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 it's it's amazing you know like I said it's just still so hard for me to just to believe all of this but yeah, I'm grateful I man it's hard to wrap your mind around yeah. that that that's big yeah. that's big that's yeah. like in every sense of the word that's big um, yes, sir. wow yes sir. yes sir so so yeah I'm, I mean any moment you know any moment it's about to be any second that's about to drop yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just I'm I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Like I said, it'll be the first time I'm able to see myself in like the store or you know just any setting outside of digital. Um, so yeah, man. I just I can't wait. 
I can't wait. Ooh, that's exciting. So this is what I'd like to know. So I would like to know, like, how did your first modeling gig go? Like, what was your first modeling gig and how did it go? And man, just the way the great Lord works, man. My first modeling gig was ASOS actually. And that was- Okay, that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was actually ASOS when I went over to the UK. So I got signed to Milk back in, was it last year? It was, no, it was, 20, it was May, 2020, I got signed to Milk. And I ended up going over there during the pandemic, during lockdown. Um, you know, just because milk is also they're expanding to plus size men. So mm -hmm. I got signed. I was the second one, um, to my knowledge. First one was my my good man named Alfred, and he was the first um, plus size male model with milk. And mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we I was able to go over there and just get started on digitals and just you know working on um, you know just to see see what can happen for me. So mm -hmm. um, my dream like. Like back then, like I, I said, my dream, like my dream shoot, ever, like my dream shoot number one is ASOS, you know, and like that's who, that's who called first, and like so, Whoa. yeah, just getting that, like that's why ever since then, like I just been on a, I've been, you know, still all hard for me to believe, and like I said, I a lot of, um, you know, like I said, just my personal life just has been a lot for me as well so yeah my mind's just all always all over the place but uh just being able to still go and do that and um it just made my mind even more all over the place uh but it was it was crazy it was crazy it was amazing like i just i still can't believe it you know uh but but yeah yeah asos was the, was the first one and um i mean like i said i just felt like I was in a dream, you know, and and the thing too, like just being like a big guy in the industry, mm -hmm. um, it's like it's all it's all just so surreal and amazing. But for everyone else working around you, it's just normal, you know. So like sometimes it is hard to really take in and you know what really? I'm doing. Yeah, like it it is just hard sometimes to really take it in because you know, I got you. <clears throat> Well, like for them it's business as usual but for you it's your dream are come, your dream is coming true yeah. like right in front of you i get it yeah. i get it and everyone else everyone else is like you know i get everyone's like oh you're a model you know you're amazing and all this and all that which i love of course but it, it's just hard for me to take it in because you know like i mean like i said it's nothing i ever imagined for myself but anyone i'm working with it's just you know like they just it's like it's normality for them you know even with me like they just think i've been doing this and all that but man i'm i'm still very new at everything and like it is it's something i want you know it's something i definitely do want um but it's, it's definitely challenging you know okay so your first gig was with your dream company with asos so like you've done I feel like I've seen you on a few other websites uh, doing work. So like, what I want to know is like, do you have, do you have, do you still have any, any new or other dream campaigns that you like, you want to put into the universe that like, I want X. Absolutely. Um, you know, yeah, cause that was the thing. Like when, because it's like, you know, as you, especially like when you actually accomplish your goals and even your biggest dreams, it's like, then you have to retool and figure out what's next. Cause like I said, ASOS, that was it for me. And I got ASOS. So then like, then it's like, okay, what's next, you know? Um, and I think for me, like, I really, like I said, I know I, I've been, my mind's been all over the place, but like my number one goal is to um I really want to help people, you know, like uh just just because I have been through a lot personally and um mm -hmm. and I at the end of the day I know like people really need that ear, you know, or that to see, you know, that confidence. Um and 
like that's really just what it comes down for me for me like just being able to touch somebody else and make a difference for someone else whether that was you know they see me in a billboard whether I was able to sit down and talk with them for a little bit mm-hmm. whether that you know I was be, I was able to just you know maybe mentor them whatever it may be just as long as I I'm able to just just help know know that I was able to help you know um but I guess you know as far as like just modeling man I mean I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to get into high fashion, you know, designer. Ooh, reports, come on now. You know, so yeah, I would I'd love to see myself in a Gucci suit listen, one day. I cannot you know. wait. I listen, you you listen to me. I cannot wait. Man, I know. I cannot wait. It's good. I mean, it's somebody, I mean, it's only a matter of time, you know. It's, it's listen, only we're making our way there. Zach, Zach did, Zach did, Zach did an ad with Gucci, I believe. I saw Dolce and Gabbana. Dolce and Gabbana, yes. Yeah, yeah. I and then, oh, I guess Dolce and Gabbana is the brand because DJ Khaled just did a line with Dolce and Gabbana. Uh-huh. So oh, they wow. might be our entry. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, into, absolutely. into high fashion, but I think... I think we're making our way around. I just feel like maybe give us another two to three years mm-hmm. and I can see it. So mm-hmm. I don't see why 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 you aren't one of the people. I don't mm-hmm. see why not. I appreciate that. It means uh, a lot. I really do. And um and like I said, I just I'm I'm a like I'm a guy like I'm not a huge I can be, but I'm not like a huge talker. Like I love to listen, you know, I love just to just, you know, let people be heard and you know and just listen to everybody's experiences and all that. And um, just like, just being able to, because yeah, like if I get there, that means, you know, it's not even for me, it's like, it's for us, you know, like, and just, just that. if you get there, we all there. Exactly, you know, and if you get there, I get there, you know, anyone that, that's what, you know, like I said, that's what it's about for me. Like it's, it's not even, it's really, you know, like, Although I feel like I, I I can slash need to be a little more selfish, like it's it's all just just wanting to just make a difference, you know, in, I, in any aspect. I wholehear- wholeheartedly believe that selflessness can take you just as far. So I don't think you need to be more selfish in a way. Well, it depends on what it is, because if you are putting yourself first, then you do need to be more selfish because yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta put you first. You can't accomplish your dreams if you're putting yourself first. So in that way, maybe, but like selflessness can take you very, very, very far. Absolutely. And it has, and it has. You're right. You are so right. Um hey, so, I know I know this is your podcast, but um, sure. I like that, uh you know, I am trying to be better on social media and all that. And I I am on social media, but it, a lot of it's like surface level, and you know, and sometimes I just don't really get to go in depth with things. So, like, can I know a little more about you? You know, sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what I see? I see. I mean, like I said, I looked at I looked at your uh, account briefly. Um, you know, I saw the ten k followers blogger. You know how how'd you get to where you are? Man, a lot of years of fucking it up, trying again, yeah. starting yeah. over, saying I quit, saying I yeah. can't quit. I got people to support. Nah, man, fuck this shit. Ain't nobody <laughs> feeling me. I'm talking yeah. into the wide open abyss of the internet. Yeah. It's a yeah. whole lot of that. Every yeah. every day is yeah. a, well, not anymore, but <clears throat> in those early days, every day was just like, Man, if I don't get three likes today, I quit. Yeah. <laughs> because you at some point know. you just feel like you're talking to yourself. And nope. like nope. it's crazy. Yeah. So <laughs> you cr- you crazy. I feel like I'm crazy. Yeah, it's nope. like, nope. oh, what's going on? I post pictures and people are just like, Oh, I guess we didn't see that today. So <laughs> I mean, Trust me, I, I I know. I know. That's what I spent the first three years just battling that internal battle of like, am I talking to myself? And then telling myself, okay, no, someone sees it one day. Someone's going to see yeah. it. 
Mm. And um, really, really what did it for me was networking, getting out, reaching out, touching humans, talking to people, people putting a face to my brand really helped. So because what happened was when I first started my brand, I refused. I absolutely refused to show my face. Um, so the first two years of my brand was Facebook. I, it was when you say when you say brand, that's like the is it the the blogging or you have a clothing brand? No, no, no. I mean the the blogging, the, the blog. Okay, okay, website. okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when I first started Excel Tribe, like it was faceless. I never showed my face. I never showed my face on the website or Instagram. I never spoke. Like mm-hmm. I did everything where you did not see or hear me. Because I too was still working through my own, I don't want to say secure insecurity, but work, yeah, working out my own shit, my own insecurities about yeah, yeah, how yeah. I look, more importantly about how I sound. Yeah. Um, Cause I grew up, uh, like I said, I'm Caribbean, I'm Jamaican. And mm-hmm. I grew up constantly with my parents telling me my voice sounds too, too, to like a girl. So yeah, yeah. I never wanted to talk because I always felt like men g- weren't gonna respect me because I'm running a brand for men and I don't sound like a man, you yeah, know? Yeah. So yeah, like yeah. I, I struggled with that. And so, you know, there came a point where I was just like, man, fuck this bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And that was the post that I did in 20, I believe, 2018, where I was just like, meet me, and this is me. Like, fuck. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens from here happens. I mean, XL Tribe was my sixth, fifth business. So, like, if this don't work, I've done this four other times. I could just do it again. So, that was really it. That's that's great, man. Like, Like you said, I mean, really like that those those two words fuck it 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 really like if you really have that mindset you know it can help a lot you know and, well it's a uh, grow it, see i what i learned is you can't fast track your way to fuck it because really yeah, what yeah. fuck it is 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 a built up pension and tension of you constantly like feeling like you're being suffocated and slowly squeezed and there's a and there's so fuck it is like how you make a diamond it's like all the pressure finally combusts mm-hmm. and you just can't take it anymore and yeah. you make up your mind it's like when you finally make up your mind to say yolo like whatever happens from here i don't give a fuck anymore yeah yeah absolutely. so you yeah. kind of have to go through all of the Oh, am I good enough? Or am I not good enough? Oh, should I post this? Should I not post it? Should I look from this angle? Should I look from that angle? Should I not put on my glasses? Should I take off my glasses? Like, you got to go through all of that uh-huh. until you be like, man, I don't give a fuck. Post the yeah. bitch. Go about my goddamn business. Mm-hmm. Because I'm tired. The yeah. mental anguish leads you to fuck it. Absolutely. So, yeah, you got to go through all of that to get to the yeah. fuck it. Okay. And the fuck it will come. Because there's yeah. going to be a moment where you just cannot, you will not take it anymore. I, you, you kind of just hope, you kind of just hope it's in a moment where maybe it's not your finest hour. Like, yeah. you know, it doesn't happen when you're at the height of something, but mm-hmm. it's going to come. So yeah. keep, keep questioning yourself because Absolutely. asking the questions is what's going to lead you to the answer. Mm-hmm. So keep, Absolutely. keep, like exploring, am I good enough? Am I not good enough? Should I pose like this? Should I not pose like this? Like that's what I actually a, a question I would love to know. Like when you're on set, do they have to give you posing directions, or you just you ju- you just step in them in front of the camera and you're just like, yeah, I'm giving it to you. Like, eh, 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 eh. see, I like I said it. I'm still working on like the shy and the nervousness part, but. I will, like, for example, when I was just in the UK on set, you know, I was able to 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 feel it a little, you know, and, and just just let it loose and be myself. But um, you, I mean, everyone's different, but usually, like, you know, if you could just go and do your thing, go and do your thing. But um, 
like I said, I just something like some I just I would be on set. I'm like, hey, y'all let me know what y'all want me to do, what y'all need, you know, just so I could give them what they want. Um, you know, but I would like to I would like to just, you know, sometimes just be loose and just do my thing because like ASOS for man, ASOS, you do you do whatever you want. You yeah, I you see the models. Y'all, y'all look like y'all, it looks like they snap your photos while you're like in the middle of like having fun. It doesn't yeah, look yeah. like Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't look like like very like controlled stiffness. It, it's like Oh no, you could you could sit there and just have fun and they'll snap it. You know, and it's and it's that is nice. That is nice. But like I said, you know, the like now that's that's those are times where it's like I need to just I really need to take that fuck it advice, you know, because sometimes I can miss out on because I'll I'll just be so like because like I said, I'll forget why I'm there sometimes. And what I mean by that is like it's like they booked me already. They love me, they like me, like I'm here for a reason. You know, so just just fuck it and have fun. You're already here. Yeah, like, you you made it because they they think they saw what you have to offer and they said, I want that. <laughs> yep, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, so yeah, that's one thing, like just from here on out. Um, I think just being in the UK just now, uh, you know, last week, it just it really helped me just be like, okay. Just really say fuck it. Enjoy yourself. You know, remember why you're here, why you're doing it. Just go have fun, you know, because cause fuck it, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, so. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. So you've been modeling now for how many years? Um, Going on two years. Going on, oh, going two, on two. Why do I think it was longer than that? I don't know. I felt like it was longer than that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean, you, everyone modeling for two years what's something today modeling that you've noticed that not that you wish you had but maybe you wish you knew just just to be to really be myself you know um bring out everything i have bring out all my personality because um i said they already they booked me for a reason you know so like just go just coming on set and being all, you know, scared, nervous, shy, and all that, like, it really does me no good um, because that, I mean, they're, like I said, they booked me, you know, they already, they already loved me off of my look. So just go in and be yourself and you'll be, be fine. Um, and, and I think, I think I do do a good job of just being myself, but I think when it comes to like the modeling itself, that's where the insecurities come because it's like, you know, because I can, I they can snap and pick and I look at it and like, I don't like it, but they love it though, you know? So like, uh, you, know, you see, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. You're, that, you're not like, loving yourself at every angle. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, that's a big thing for me. Um, so, but now it's just like, you know, just, just, just be yourself. You know, um, yeah, yeah. That that's what it is. But yeah, now just, just, just going in and just loving everything and throwing the insecurities, all that, throwing in the trash, and just going and being, being myself and having a good time. You know, and uh, just being able to enjoy everything I'm doing and, and realize there's other people that would die to be in my shoes. You know, so. Um, yeah, yeah. So I got one more question for you. So yes, I went sir. digging through your Instagram because mm-hmm. I wanted to find the photo that I remember thinking, oh, this is the look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to, can you see that photo? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my ver- from, from my very first ASO shoot, man. So tell me about this photo. Um. I think that that was probably like they wanted they wanted the off guard. I said it'll just it'll just be so fast and like I'm trying to take it in. But uh that that specific look right there, like I was just I was just thinking about what I was doing and like I was just really happy and proud of myself, you know. Um 
and I just gave a big fat smile, you know, <laughs> big fat. I was happy. I was happy, you know. And I that's why I, I was. I'm always happy. I always try to be happy. You know, I just I want everyone to see that smile. You know, I want to I want to brighten people's day. You know, I just yeah. So, um, yeah. I don't. I think. I guess. I yeah. I was in that picture. I was in the moment. Like I was just really enjoying that's myself. That's exactly what it looks like. Yeah. It looks yeah, like someone had told the joke off camera. That's exactly <laughs> it. it looked just like that. Like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, he just came back and it was like snap, snap, snap. He was like yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I'll do I'll do a smile like that, then immediately I'm like, you know, just just immediately after that big smile, I'm just serious, you know. But it's cool though. Well it's don't funny. forget while you're making everyone else's day, make your own day. Don't forget that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Don't, don't, don't forget right. that. Um I think it's important to make yourself have your own good day for yourself because you can continue to radiate through people you know when your glass is filled I, I learned that I learned that lesson in my early 30s which I'm really mad about you know that you can't pour from an empty cup yeah. what's for other people is what run it over mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so fill up your own smiles so that you know, when you smile, you don't have to come back to the serious. Yeah, you can absolutely. just continue to just smile because the more you do that, that's the look. The more you do that, mm -hmm. there will always be work out here for you. Yes, sir. Appreciate you'll never you. be in, you'll never be out of demand. Uh -huh. So remember that, you know, as you go through your journey. And I'm pretty sure, you know, we'll catch up on the podcast again. And you'd be yeah, like, absolutely. man, remember that interview we did a few years ago, man? <laughs> man. Yeah. No, yeah. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be great. It'll be great. And so I want to help grow your social following because people need to follow you. They need to know you. They need to, you, you need more visibility. The people need to know you. Absolutely. So tell the people where they can find you. Um, well, you can find me on Instagram. That's Maxine.e.evans. Um M A X I M E. You put your whole name on the internet, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the whole name on there. Cause Wait, I think No. Uh -huh. Men's on me. <laughs> yeah, man, man's on me. Got on hey, that's it. My mama got on ten ten. My cat Saleh. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you call me. Uh, gross two years, another thing to call me. Gross two years, like. I still, I don't really understand it too much. It's like big, big feet, gross suya. I heard that one before. Yeah, she always called me gross suya. But yeah, yeah. Um, that's where you can find me on, on the IG. Okay. But, uh, I said, I want to expect, you know, I'm trying to expand, maybe, maybe get into TikTok and all that. But I'll see. Oh, look I'll at that. Me. TikTok really does help help grow you it does because there's no yeah. way to be on tiktok and not show your personality because yeah, everything yeah. tiktok requires is to be all of you exactly so you know so that's that, a good idea. I, I just think yeah i think tiktok could just help me a little bit really show my personality and all that um but yeah 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 i'm still like i said it's still i'm still working on everything and um I, I think for me too, like at the end of the day, you know, if if I do make it, I want to be able to say like I stayed true to myself and Even when. <laughs> thank you. When I do make it. Um, I just want to be able to say like I did it the right way, you know, I stayed true to myself, all that. So that's why like just a lot of times I'll just just cause I see so much fake stuff on social media, you know. It'll just it'll just be hard for me to, you know, just just figure out how to go about it, you know. Um, but then there's the I gotta say fuck it as well too. Um, yeah, yeah. Always do what feels true to you. If it doesn't, sure. if you even have to question it for one millisecond, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I... 
I think that's the easiest way to stay true to yourself on the internet and beyond the internet. Like doing things that resonate you, doing things that make fill your cup. Um, I learned this in therapy. When you start doing things that don't that don't align with your overall body and your mind's purpose for why it's here on earth, <clears throat> you'll start to be tired a lot. Mm-hmm. It's the little things you don't notice. You just think, oh, I'm tired. I'm not mm-hmm. tired. I'm just tired of that shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think listening to your body and what it always has to tell you mm-hmm. um, is a good way to stay true to yourself on the internet because it's real easy. Yeah, yeah. To I end up being someone that you're not because you're trying to get to your destination faster, but mm-hmm. you realize that you're riding in someone else's car and isn't yours. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, that's one thing I'm just trying to really trying to avoid. But yeah, thank man. Thank you, Kurt. For the for the wise words, man. I appreciate it. You are welcome, really man. Do. I I remember being twenty three. That wasn't that long ago. <laughs> yeah. How how old are you? How old are you? I'm thirty three. Thirty three. Okay, okay. Um, you look great, man. You look good. You look good. That's not what my bones say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel, hey, I'm already feeling it, man. I'm already. <laughs> Every time you do something, man, I'm thirty three, not seventy three. Yeah, I stand. I stand up from the couch, knees cracking. Ain't my ankle just cracked just now? The fat. <laughs> it's hard like the fat. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. But I'm 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 using my fancy skin. So that's that's all I can say. Ooh. Fancy skin. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to stay. Yeah. Trying to, trying to stay youthful. Yeah, yeah. I feel, as I long need- as I can. Uh-huh. I need to get my, my skin routine right, too. But uh, that's good, though, Kurt. Um, good. So next time you go to ASOS, tell them you need some skin care. Just, yeah. <laughs> just throw it in the bag. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's, yeah, yeah. I, I might have to. I might, I might have to look into that one. Yes, um, sir. Yes, sir. But, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, talking to you on the podcast today. I hope that if people take nothing from this podcast, they take that, listen, it don't take a whole lot of time to make your dreams happen. Once you determine, I really, I feel like that's what the lesson of today's podcast is determination. Like no matter how many times they told you no, you was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go again. Hey, I kept See, going. You, oh, you already have the fucking spirit. Cause every time they said no, you said, fuck it, I'm gonna do it again. Yep, I'm applying exactly. it. You denied me the first kept, time out. Do it again. I just kept going, man. I just kept going, kept applying. I was like, shit, somebody's going to tell me yes. Somebody. Listen, somebody. I heard this quote. You can get 99 no's. Oh, Lady Gaga, you get 99 no's. Uh-huh. One yes. Yeah. And milk was that one yes. And look at you now. Man, the, the moon, the stars, the sun, planet, Jupiter, all them <laughs> shit. It's for you. You just gotta stay true. Thank, thank you, Kurt. Thank you. Man. Keep your thank eye you. on the prize. Yes, and don't sir. let yes, the sir. things on the left and the right of you that ain't got nothing to do with you distract yep. you with your car. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank and, you. Um, I appreciate it so much. You're welcome, sir. And until next time, people, make yep. sure y'all come back every time for the Excel yep. Trisman podcast. Come back. come back every time. Every time. It was yes 15 minutes ago. It's yes now. Like every time. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We outie.